Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna be telling you about a very interesting problem that is called flipping game. Now, in this problem, you are given an array A consisting of zeros and ones. For example, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. And uh, the total number of elements in this array are n. Now, constraint on n is very small. So, n is up to only 100 here. Now, even an O n cube solution will work here. But in this video, I'm going to show you how you can convert an O of n cube solution to O of n step by step. So watch the full video for better understanding. So first of all, let's implement an O of n cube solution. The most brute force solution we can have here is, we just uh, try out all the possible ranges here, L to R. And for each range, we will just uh, flip the elements of that range and count total number of ones here so the algorithm will be for i equals to 1 to n for j equals to i to n now the range is i to j i have to flip all the elements here so the first step will be flip all elements from i to j and the second step will be to count all ones in the whole array. Now this is O n square complexity and for each i to j range I have to traverse my array in O n time. So my total complexity will be O of n cube here. Now, how can I improve my complexity here? We can improve it using prefix array. So, if I just do this step in O1 time, I can improve my complexity to O of n square. So, if I maintain a prefix array in which prefix of i will give me number of ones up to index i. So the array was 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. So here the prefix array will be uh, like here will come 0, here will be 1 and total number of 1's here are 2 and here 2 and here will come 3, 3 and 4. So this will be my prefix array. Now how can I use this prefix array to improve my solution? So I have to flip all the elements from i to j and count total number of ones in the whole array. So if my array was like a1, a2, dot 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 ai, aj and an. So I have to flip the elements in this subarray and count total number of ones in the whole, whole array. So this the number of ones in this subarray will be pre of i minus 1 and in this subarray pre of n minus pre of j now the only thing left is to count the number of zeros in this subarray it will be j minus i plus 1 minus pre of j minus pre of i minus 1 this will come this will come in bracket so these are the total number of zeros that will become one after flipping total number of zeros so my answer for this subarray will be this equation now i have to maximize my answer so i'll just iterate for all i to j ranges and i'll maximize my answer so this is the second approach now how can i improve it further so to improve it further let's change our state of the problem instead of checking for all i to j ranges what can i do is for example i have a1 a2 dot dot, dot ax what can i do is i will find the maximum answer 
O for all this average ending at this index and I will do it for every index in my array and I will just choose the maximum one so how can I do this so to do this I will just take an index i here and uh, let's say uh, if we take this subarray and flip the elements of this subarray my answer will be pre of i minus 1 the number of ones in this subarray number of ones in this subarray are pre of n minus pre of x okay and the uh, number of ones uh, that will be become in this subarray are the number of zeros so the number of zeros in this subarray are x minus i plus 1 minus the number of ones here which are pre of x minus pre of i minus 1 and we will add this so if i for a particular index x if i choose some index i i get this sum now i have to maximize this for all i from 1 to x i have to maximize this sum now how can i maximize it um, I'll just separate the terms containing x and terms containing i. So what will I get? Pre of i minus 1. And this will be added to because minus and minus cancels each other. So I'll get 2 pre of i minus 1 plus um, minus i because this is the only term that containing i i now these are the terms that are containing i and rest are containing x or n so i'll just write them as x plus 1 minus 2 pre of x and uh, i'll take pre of n here now if you carefully observe we can see that this is constant for a particular index x and this is the variable term this is variable and this is constant so what i have to do is i just have to maximize my variable and i will see that i can maximize my total answer so how can i maximize this now it's pretty clear that if I can maintain an array which consists the maximum answer up to an index i of this thing I will get my answer in O1 time so I will maintain an array like I have already prefix array I, I will make a maxi array here which will contain maximum of this thing up to an index i so my prefix array was um, 0 1 2 2 3 3 4 it was 0 1 2 2 3 3 and 4 so my maximum array will be for the first index maxi of 1 will be pre of 0 2 times pre of 0 minus 1 it will be like pre of 0 will be 0 so it will be minus 1 so max c of 1 will be minus 1 and what about max c of 2 max c of 2 will be 2 times pre of 1 minus 2 it will be 2 times 2 2 minus 2 equals to 0 it will be 0 max c of 3 will be 2 times 2 minus 3 2 times 2 4 minus 3 equals to 1 and maximum uh, and maxi of 4 will be 2 times okay there is some mistake that I did here I had to take prefix of 2 here and I took prefix of 3 so for maxi of 3 prefix of 2 will be 1 and 2 times 2 minus 2 equals to 0 so here will also be 0 and for uh, maxi of 4 
आई हैव टू टाइम्स प्रीफिक्स ऑफ थ्री माइनस फोर एंड प्रीफिक्स ऑफ थ्री इज टू सो टू टाइम्स टू इज फोर माइनस फोर इक्व टू जीरो एंड फोर फाइव आई एल हैव माइनस वन फोर सिक्स आई एल हैव टू टाइम्स प्री ऑफ थ्री सो टू टाइम्स थ्री इक्व टू सिक्स सिक्स माइनस सिक्स इक्व टू जीरो एंड हेर विल कम माइनस वन नाउ टू फाइंड द फाइनल मैक्सिमम एरे वट वी कैन डू इज वी कैन जस्ट कंपेयर द आई एथ एंड आई एथ माइनस वन एलिमेंट ऑफ द मैक्सिम एरे फॉर एग्जाम्पल हेर विल कम माइनस वन हेर विल कम जीरो बिकॉज अमंग जीरो एंड माइनस वन जीरो इज ग्रेटर एंड हेर विल ऑल्सो कम जीरो हेर विल ऑल्सो कम जीरो एंड अमंग दीज टू जीरो इज मैक्सिम सो हेर विल ऑल्सो कम जीरो and here will also come zero and here will be zero too so this is my final max array now my answer array will be like for answer of x will be max c of x plus max c of x plus x plus 1 minus 2 pre of x x plus 1 minus 2 times pre of x plus pre of n so that's it for this video guys and if you like this video give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos thank you